This JCW sounds absolutely pants. We're gonna change that and stick it with a nice FI exhaust. Let's make it roar. So as you can see, I've managed to steal the keys for our JCW Mini again. And I think it's about time we turned up the volume on this thing. Dan's ordered up uh, an FI exhaust, which we're gonna get installed on the car. That's today's job. So a quick walkthrough of what that's gonna entail. Fortunately on this car, it's actually quite straightforward. So Tim takes a pier on underneath. Um, there's a few of the ultra racing braces and even before that factory braces that are in the way further down the exhaust. So you can see the two white under braces there. Um, they're gonna need to come off and then that's pretty much everything that's in the way of the exhaust system. So once that's done, uh, undo the clamp at the front. There's a series of four hangers, two at the rear, two at the front that will need to be disconnected and then I'll get one of my able-bodied assistants to help me lift it down off the car. And that's actually quite a straightforward procedure on this one, which is nice for a change. Um, and then once that's done, all that's left is to get the shiny goodness on. There's also some wiring involved because what we've done is we've gone for a Valtronic system on this car, which is actually lacking from factory. So there's no wiring, no system for switching over the exhaust at all from factory and nothing available. So we're going to change that up, which is great. That allows you to decide how you're feeling on the day, whether you just want a quiet trip to the shops or you want to open up the pipes and smash it around track, which is what we're going to be doing more of. Um, so hopefully we'll unleash some sound and performance with this modification. That's certainly the aim of the game on this car. Um, so stay tuned, we're gonna get this installed um, and see at the end what version of pipe, uh, tailpipe trims we've gone for from FI because there is a plentiful amount of options there. So just a quick overview of our FI exhaust system for the Mini. I've got the stock one off now, so I'm ready to install. But I thought before it disappears under the car, I'll walk you guys through what we have here. So on the bench in front of me is actually a full engine back system. So we've gone for a sports catted downpipe, which is ceramic coated here for better heat retention and uh, performance properties. We then lead into this silence front pipe. Uh, which is here and the mid pipe and then we've got the valved so this is a standard valvetronic back box or the rear silencer so that connects up with our lovely black diamond finish and uh, carbon fiber exhaust trims and also the electric wizardry for the valvetronic system in there so that about covers us from front to rear Today we're just going to do the cat back because we want to know and we also want to show you guys what it sounds like with just the cat back and then once we've run it with that for a short while and we know where we're at, we'll then introduce the downpipe as well with the sports cat, which will keep it all above board for MOTs over here in the UK. Um, I think that just about covers it. I'm gonna continue wearing these gloves because I've been told if I leave fingerprints on this, I'm sacked. So that's that. If you don't see me again, you know what's happened. I've got fingerprints and I've messed all this shiny goodness up. Um, but otherwise, please stay tuned to this video. You'll get a, hopefully a nice sounding video at the end of our mini all tuned up with this FI exhaust on it. So you join us here at the finish point with this FI catback exhaust and well, it's been a few weeks and I've had some chance to enjoy it on the road. So Sam, if you don't mind popping her up, I'll show you guys underneath and talk to you a little bit about it. Perfect. Great, so now it's up in the air, I can show you a little bit under, underneath this. And just be mindful, I have been driving this for a number of weeks now and I've had a good chance to explore it and actually soak up what the exhaust does noise wise. So I'll talk a little bit about the valve system, but you'll see some or hear some noise clips at the end. So just wait until the end. I'll tell you a little bit about this exhaust and how it operates. So you have a button, a fob, which effectively you can open and close the valves. And it's quite clever how F5 actually made the valving system. So with the valves open, it's got a nice bassy note to it. It sounds really raw and, and quite fruity, but when you shut the valves, it then obviously quietens it down. But 
if you do rev it hard with the valves closed, you do also get another little tone to it. So it still actually gives you some good noise. It just means when you're sort of ticking along at 70 miles per hour, whatever speed might be a national speed limit in your country, it keeps the noise down, which is really important for what is a two litre turbo. I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. This is one of the best exhaust systems I've ever, ever heard on a two litre turbo. Bearing in mind, it is a four cylinder. So let's get underneath and show you what it's all about. So as I said, a little bit dirty, but gives you an idea of what it looks like. So obviously this is a cat back system. So right at the front end there, you've got this nice chunky resonator, which takes away a lot of that sort of droniness that you'd normally hear. That's pretty much straight through then all the way to this great big chrome rear muffler silencer, which is very clever in the way it's valved, as I mentioned. So then you've got obviously valve system and solenoid here. And then obviously this is a branch off pipe to effectively make the noise come out of one pipe rather than the other to give you some different notes. So as I said, it's a lovely, lovely bit of kit. It fits really well, which was fantastic. It's always a good thing when you're fitting an exhaust. And you've got these then carbon tips. A standard normally comes with some silver tips, but I've actually opted to go for some carbon fiber tips. And then I've gone another step custom and I've gone with a diamond black finished tailpipe tip. Because personally, I don't mind chrome, but I prefer black. So, Exhaust system on, enough about me talking. You guys are gonna hear it, enjoy it. And again, if you do get an opportunity to like, subscribe, it'll be really appreciated. See you guys next time.